Then Eric the Midget calls Gary and yells at him, but it's the same old stuff, you know. Yeah. He's always angry with Gary. Eh, there's a lot going on there. Hey, can I make a commentary on something that's going on on CBS Early Morning Show? They have a kid, an 11-year-old kid who's a movie reviewer, and mm -hmm. I resent it. Like, I, I have to admit the kid's a freak. He's 11 years old, and he sounds like he's going on 50. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like, but... You know, I, the, the thing that bothers me about this, and I can play you a clip of this kid, and he's, he's real, it's really impressive that he sounds like an adult. He's one of those kids that sounds all grown up. Mm -hmm. And he reviews movies? He reviews movies, and it's just like when I was watching it, he was reviewing the, the movie was coming out, the, uh, the new movie uh, Inception. Yeah. Which, I mean, some filmmakers spent endless hours conceiving, putting it on film. I mean, it is a remarkable film. And imagine going through all that, and then you tune in the CBS Morning, and an 11-year-old 11 11 is reviewing your it. movie and saying he doesn't like it for oh. bizarre reasons. Because, I, I mean, honestly, I, I mean, that would drive me crazy. It's really I, an insult. It is. I, I yeah. can't trivialize it, because the guy's an artist. The guy who made Inception is an incredible filmmaker. The, he, he, wrote, he made, uh, what are the other movies? Memento. Memento. Christopher Nolan. Uh, yeah. yeah. That Batman movie. Batman, Batman movie. Batman uh, again. And when you see, the, Batman, Dark Knight. The, the Dark, Dark Knight. And when you, make, when you make a movie, and you're that great a filmmaker, you know, really, it's sort of insulting. It's really disrespectful. It really is. So here he is. This kid is... Uh, here, JD page one in red. You got to hear this kid. Oh, it's freakish though. I'm always freaked out by these kids who are like little adults. Who sound so yeah. mature. There, here he is. It's called. The, the it's segment called, is called. What is it called? Lights, camera, Jackson. Jackson, because the guy's kid's name is Jackson. Just as most of us look forward to summer blockbuster movies, we here at The Early Show have started looking forward to movie reviews because 11-year-old Lights Camera Jackson does them like no one else. LCJ, good morning. Can I call you Lights for short? Yes, you can. Good morning, good morning, everyone. There he is. All right, let's talk some movies here. Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio. It's what, mind blowing. What is this movie about? I don't really know. It's a dream. Because you're 11 years old. You, you, of course you don't understand it. Who would have an 11-year-old movie review? Why would you ask him about Inception? But, and waste all that time. That's, right. that's valuable time. Well, what it is is they needed a reason to get this freakishly adult-like child on. Like, listen, I mean, who, what 11-year-old what talks like this? Yeah, but to subject a, a, a multi-million dollar film. Yeah. I mean, that's... It was made for me. I saw it the other day. It is, uh, visually, it's, it's actually pretty good. I yes. mean, Chris Nolan's on to something here, you know, of a bad Dark Knight fame Absolutely. and whatnot. But you just found this to be a real kind of perplexing, a little too perplexing for some. Yeah, huh? it's really confusing. And the, the characters explain the plot as dialogue, which I didn't like. That's one of my movie pet peeves. The Ellen Page character is only there to just ask questions and get answers. Thank heavens, though, she was in the movie. Otherwise, I never would have understood Nobody a thing. Nobody would have gotten it without Ellen Page. But, you know... It is what it is. All right. Yeah. So one of we he has pet peeves. He has pet peeves. He's eleven years old. You're not allowed to have a pet peeve. <laughs> oh, you need. I, life you haven't experience. been on the planet long enough to have a pet peeve. Exactly. I think I, I looked him up. I think he's on locally in upstate New York, and I think he's won an Emmy. Wow, that's insulting. He, he's a freak show. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what? coming from George. <laughs> <laughs> I take great umbrage with that. You know what? I didn't start using the phrase pet peeve till I was 47. I'm being serious. Oh, it's a but, teenage phrase now, too, I think. Well, evidently. It's preteen. Yeah, preteen with him. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, listen to this kid. I mean, he's 11 years old. And I admit, it's it's quite phenomenal when you see a kid 11 years old speaking on this level but uh, as George says he's just a freak show this kid you bring up the official kid critic report yes. card grading system I it's official kid critic report card this is official Inception gets a C. What other films has he uh, reviewed? I'm, I'm sure all of them. I mean you know uh, uh, the kids are all right I mean, that's, that takes a lot of life experience to understand. Right. Wait for the DVD, but you should see it in theaters if you want because it is visually stunning. Box office.
breakfast-wise, it did do pretty well it last week. So a lot well. of people were out there yes. to go see R.I.D. Yes, J.D.? He can't review the kids R.I.D. because it's R-rated. It won't send them R-rated. Well, the so movie. Movie. can't see. Exactly. The critic can't see all the movies. What are the kids are all right? It's a lesbian film. <laughs> uh, the two, two main characters are uh, these Annette adult Benning. Le lesbians who got married and inseminated themselves and had two kids. And huh. then the kids want to meet their dad and then uh, the dad causes chaos in the relationship. That sounds pretty good. It, it is. It's, it's a, a wonderful movie. film. Hey, Howard? Yeah. I'm looking at his bio. So he's been reviewing. Uh, he started at the age of five, but really since seven and a half. He's got, they said he's got over a million homes in upstate New York on Time Warner TV. And he is the youngest person ever to win a New York Emmy. Um, and, and the other thing that they refer to him on his website, which the review, uh, the guy who hosted, he's LCJ. Yeah, yeah LCJ. LCJ. All right, anyway. Lights, camera, Jackson. I just, you know, it's enough. You want to have the kid on one time and talk about the fact that he got an Emmy okay. I don't want to see this kid reviewing movies. I'm but sick of it. that's how he got the Emmy. You know, <laughs> a lot of unemployed people out there. We, we don't want to see kids reviewing movies. That's a job for an adult. Right. Agreed? Exactly. All right. I don't know. That's a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> um, Does he do another film? I'd like to know. <laughs> <laughs> so you like this kid. The other film is a kid's film. That he understands. Right. Well, that's my point. He, he... That's what he should be reviewing. No. You want to hear him review? Uh, yeah, you I do? do. You're into this kid. I, I like him. All right. Wait a second. I got to go find it. I, I went away from it because I had a uh... bunch of other stuff to play. Wait here. I'll fast forward to it. Just as most of us look at the family film, a good, lighthearted, G-rated family film, which I really like. You know, this is based on the Beverly Cleary books, yep. and it's really nice because a lot of the films in theaters out right now are either blockbusters or animated films. This is a good, nice, live-action, G-rated film that parents can take their kids to and be entertained. Yeah, now, is this the kind of like the real good family fair that's out there right now? I mean, I know you love Despicable Me, yes, correct? Yes, very fun. Toy Story 3, those are still out there, but right. this is kind of the latest in the This the is movies. kind of the latest. I mean, there's been great animated films out this summer and this year, but this is one of the better live-action family films, especially since it's rated G, that parents can take their kids. If, as far as the books are concerned, were you familiar with the books? I mean, I know you're only I 11. Didn't, I didn't read the books growing up, but I yeah. knew enough about it that I found it to be nice. Selena Gomez is also in it from Disney Channel. Yeah. She's not in it as much as I thought she was going to be, yeah. but fans won't be disappointed. Now, I know you said you what kid uses the word lighthearted? <laughs> lighthearted fair. <laughs> I mean, what, what's the deal? And, and by the way, how f***ed up is this guy going to be when he's an adult? Oh, I can't wait. He's going to be a nut. Like, he's going to be... I can't wait for reality to come crashing down. You know, Butch Patrick's going to call him an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know this is Macaulay Culkinville. <laughs> you know where this is headed, don't you? Absolutely. Oh, we yeah. really screw kids. Yeah. Danny Bonaducci said this kid has problems. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Drew called. He's waiting. I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, what is that? It's freakish. It is a freak show. You're absolutely right. Uh, let me take a couple of phone calls. Uh, Marianne from Brooklyn. Go ahead. Good morning, Howard. Hi, morning. George. Oh, Howard, there's so much Hi. to talk about. Ah! First of all, I saw that kid, uh, Robin. He was obnoxious. Ah! He was wailing his arms. Who's going to put their kid on TV? That's all programmed, Howard. Why would CBS have him? Howard, did you see Poppycock on America's Got Talent? Uh, no, I'm, I'm a couple of weeks behind. Uh,